So what I'd like to do today is just show you how to measure your leg and how you're going to be thinking about ordering a made to measure pair of bespoke pair of boots and first of all to try and think about what you're going to be using those boots for. If you're riding every day, if you're only riding twice a week, if they're a country boot, if it's for casual wear, telling me that information because all that helps to choose the leathers that we're going to use and the sole that we're going to use. And then your individual requirements, so you've got a wider foot, a shorter leg, uh, you find that you've got one leg wider than the other. It's not a problem, but all that information needs to come over so that we can really understand your requirements. So then the measuring takes place, which we're just going to talk through here. And number one on the measuring chart is just the foot size. So when you're giving us your foot size, is that going to be um, your normal foot size in a shoe or a boot? It needs to be your boot foot size. And if you've got a wider foot, um, please tell us about that. So you can say I'm normally a four, but I am, have got a very wide foot, or I'd like to have room for a thicker sock or not. So all those things do make a difference. So number one is the foot size. And measurement number two is measuring across the toe and this is to give us an idea of the last that we're going to use because it's not just the length of the foot that's important it's the volume as well and the width across the toes uh, that measurement all comes into play number three measurement number three we have the instep measurement and again that makes quite a difference where you've got to put the foot in and around um, through the the boot to get the boot on. Number four then of course incorporates the heel and the width and depth of the ankle. And then we move on to measurement number five which is your ankle. So really this is the, the thinnest or smallest or narrowest part of the ankle is what I need to find out. So we can get a nice shape through the boot for you. And then there's a measurement number six it's just where the shape of the leg changes it can be a different place on different people it's where it's gone from the small ankle area and then it's going traveling up towards the widest part of the calf but it's where you get a change in the width there and if i can take that measurement then we can begin to really shape the boot for you uh, into uh, a nice curve as it comes out then into the calf which is the number seven measurement which is the widest part of the calf and then of course most times the boot the leg comes in slightly and you'd want the boot to have a nice neat fit below the knee and that's measurement number eight this is an area which may give a little bit as well. So this is why we're using a leg which is a bare leg um, because the boots will give, there'll be some stretch in them, you've got the zip as well, all with a little bit of give. And that all gets taken into account when they're made. They will stretch over the jodhpur, breeches or jeans, trousers that you want to pop inside. We then go to the vertical measurement. So when you've taken the ankle measurement, this is measurement number nine. And this is from the ground to that uh, height where you took the ankle measurement. So then I can see where those changes are made, where that leg changes in, in width. So that's measurement number nine and then they follow up through the measurements. Number ten is where you've taken the measurement number six. Eleven is the measurement of the height where you've taken the measurement number seven. So this will be where, where your calf is at the, the widest point. And number 12 is the overall height. Now do allow for the fact that you're going to perhaps bend the knee, you're going to be sitting in the saddle, however the boots will drop. So it is best to take the full height of the leg and then after the boot has dropped maybe one to two centimetres during wear that'll then sit just below 
the knee as, you, as it's bent when you're riding. So we're taking that from the floor to the back of the knee where the knee bends.